Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about a test, lab test called bone marrow aspiration and biopsy. Generally it is done in hematology or histopathology. Use of the test. When a patient is anemic without an obvious cause and uh, has a condition or cancer that may be affecting blood cells production as a means of helping find out how advanced a cancer is. Sometimes when a doctor is investigating a fever of unknown origin, especially when the patient is immunocompromised, this test is necessary. Bone marrow aspiration and biopsy are procedures used to collect and test bone marrow. Bone marrow is a soft fatty tissue found inside the body's larger bone. It has a honey comb or a sponge-like structure consisting of a network of fibers that is filled with liquid. The liquid contains stem cells, blood cells in various stages of a maturation and raw material such as iron, vitamin B12 and folate that are required for cell production. A bone marrow aspirate collects a liquid sample of cells that can be studied individually. A biopsy collects a cylindrical core sample that preserves the marrow structure, the biopsy shows the relationship of bone marrow cells to one another and the overall cellularity, the ratio of a marrow cells to fat and other material present in the sample. Red blood cells, platelets and five different types of white blood cells are produced in marrow as needed, with the number and type of a cell being produced at any one time being dependent on the use of a cells loss and a continual replacement of old cells. For instance, RBCs, which carry oxygen throughout the body, have a lifespan about 120 days. The marrow alters RBC production so that it can replace old RBCs that are taken out of circulation and maintain a relatively constant number in the blood. The marrow increases the rate of RBC production whenever the person's number of RBCs decreases due to such things as bleeding or hemolysis. The increased rate of production continues until there is a sufficient number of RBCs in the bloodstream or until marrow production capacity is reached. If the need approaches this capacity, then an increasing number of reticulocytes will be released into circulation as the marrow tries to keep up. If the need exceeds capacity, then the number of RBC in the bloodstream will decrease and the patient will become increasingly anemic with symptoms such as pale skin, tiredness and difficulty breathing due to reduced oxygen in the blood. A variety of bone marrow diseases, cancers such as leukemia, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, inherited conditions and diseases such as aplastopic anemia can affect the marrow's ability to produce an inadequate number of each of the different blood cells types and release them into circulation. These diseases may affect the total number of cells produced, the proportion of the different cells produced and or the function of the cells. Some bone marrow disorders may lead to a deficiency of one or more cell types while others result in excess production of a specific type or of a specific clone of a cell, a single cell that produces without regulation. Leukemia, it's a type of a cancer, for example, is a cancer of the blood cell. It results in the excessive production of one or WBC type at expense of other cell types and can lead to release of a large quantities of abnormal immature WBC into the bloodstream. These WBC may not fit infection as other WBC do and leave the patient more vulnerable to infection. When leukemic WBC exceed RBC production in the bone marrow, the patient becomes anemic. When they have decreased the number of a platelet producer, they leave the patient vulnerable to access to bruising and bleeding. Other conditions such as vitamin B or folate deficiency lead to anemia with large red blood cells and sometimes changes in white blood cells and platelets. Iron deficiency causes anemia with small red blood cells, sometimes abnormally shaped. 
on the disorder myelofibrosis is characterized by the overgrowth of a fiber in the marrow comprising cells and leading to changes in red cell shape and changes in the cell counts bone marrow aspiration or a biopsy as a test include both the collection of a marrow sample and the evaluation of it under microscope specialist a pathologist or a hematopathologist examine under a microscope glass slides containing stained smears of a marrow sample the fibrous network and fluid from a biopsy or a fluid from an aspiration the number size and shape of each of the cell type present are examined as are the proportions of a macho and macho cells if leukemia is present or another cancer has spread into marrow it can be diagnosed through the examination and the type and severity of the disease can be worked out depending on what the doctor thinks may be wrong additional test may be done on the marrow in the case of leukemia test to work out the type of leukemia may be done this includes special stains at the determination of the antigenic marker to show just what type of leukemia is present special stains may also be used to look for things such as how much iron is stored in the marrow and tests are sometimes used to detect chromosomal or genetic abnormalities rarely marrow may be used to look for infections that can cause a fever of unknown origin sample required bone marrow aspiration by a trained doctor normally no abnormalities detected